Hello viewers, welcome to our channel Plan B6. Today I am here with the topic of how the progress line option works in Primavera P6, how we can customize the progress line options in the Gantt chart view. Basically, in the Primavera, the progress line option is reflects either you are ahead or behind the schedule. So without wasting time, we can move forward to our today's topic. Open your Primavera P6 and open your project schedule. After the opening, there are two signs you can see the progress line option here from the view and from the top toolbar here this is also a progress line option this one how we can customize this option how it work in primavera p6 just one thing you have to must assign your baseline if you have the updated project the progress line is basically showing the progress either your activity is behind or ahead from the baseline you must have to assign the baseline now show the progress line from here I just move that to show you people very clearly this is our progress line you can see here if I schedule my project because this is not updated it start on 10th May okay if I start any of activity award activity I just complete completed that activity and now I can schedule the project apply suppose I am scheduling on 20th of May select it and schedule now you can see the progress line if i schedule little bit more like my data date is 31st of may schedule again now you can see the difference from the baseline to you can customize you can fix with the start and finish dates how it is possible just right click here and to void the progress line behavior you must have to show here the primary baseline from bars you can have to show the primary baseline and if you have any other baseline then you have to show check here on the primary baseline if you uncheck just see that one the progress line is not showing you have to check here apply and ok after the apply ok go to the bar chart option in bar chart option you can see here there is a option of progress line progress line you can manage the size of your line you can make it four or five whatever you want you can change the color of that line either blue green yellow whatever defined from custom colors you can choose any of them if I choose that color ok and here you can see here the there are two options primary baseline and project baseline if you select the project baseline then here you have to select the finish date or start date first we will check the start date start date and ok now you can see here the progress line behavior it's the behind from the schedule this one you can see the behavior of your progress line it's showing are you ahead or behind from the schedule because this schedule is not updated that's why it's behind the data date line however 
if you want to change to the finish date this is starting to start date i can change to the finish date and okay now it's change to the finish dates and now you can see here the color has been already changed into that color bar chart option and progress line here if you want to choose that option percent complete or duration complete you must have to choose here the primary baseline because we are showing here only the primary baseline if you have shown the project baseline then then you have to it will be shown if percent complete okay now you can see the progress line is showing according to the percent complete 0% we are behind the schedule and you can see here all uh, and if i select the duration percent complete here again go to the bar chart option and select here progress line and remaining duration okay now you can see again the behavior is changed this is how this option progress line effect work or how we can customize in premiere p6 software how it works in premiere p6 software hopefully you understand our today's detailed tutorial on progress line please like share and subscribe our channel Thanks for watching Allah Hafiz